Mission Pulse. Know God's heart, join his mission. As a pastor, I felt like a, like, like, like mostly like a failed pastor, okay? Because okay, our church up. went up and down and up and down and struggled, and we just cycled through the same, you know, like so many people. We, we grew like 5% a year, 10% a year, but it was really more like 30% growth and 25% turnover because mm-hmm. we had all these college students. And, and I just never, it felt like we started over every 18 months, you mm-hmm. know, and I never could get any Which traction. Tough, yeah. Yeah, and I just felt like, man, I'm just failing at this. For nine years we did this, and I just felt like I mostly am failing at this. And only now am I looking back and seeing that that season of life was really impactful for a lot of people who now are, are some of the groundwork for our ministry. Yeah, scattered wow. all over the mm-hmm. place. They're not in my city anymore. Many of them are scattered, and we're working with them all over the place now. Well, you, you drop places like crazy. I mean, oh, Nepal and Bhutanese refugees and my friend in uh, Eastern European country, X, Y, Z. <laughs> no, it's it's wild, man, That the, the way that stuff is taking place. Yeah. And um, and to be in a spot to just say, all right, the Lord knows what He's doing, and and I know that's not satisfying. Like we want to be able to say, what is God doing here? And and sometimes, like we really do get to know. I think yes, like we really do get to see sometimes. Like oh, I get it, I get it. And sometimes it's just above my pay grade. You yeah. Know? And and I have to just say, I, I don't know, I don't know, Lord, but I trust you. So that's the kind of encouragement you want to bring to people today. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I guess I'm. But playing a little bit of devil's advocate yeah. because people are in that place and they know it. You just described it to a T. Okay, well, thanks a lot, Jimmy. But now I have to keep trudging. What's the, what's the whole goal here? If let's go back to, let's say, just the little motto and sub motto of uh, of this podcast: Know God's heart, join His mission. There's kind of some action or response that, sure. that, that I think Jesus calls us to. Look, see, they're like sheep without a shepherd. Have mm-hmm. compassion. Pray that the Lord will send harvesters. Or workers into his harvest field. Mm-hmm. Maybe you're the answer to that prayer. Not here. I am Lord. Send my brother behind me. <laughs> <in the pew. laughs> yeah. Um, so what is the encouragement then? Just keep trudging, brother. Be like William Carey. I can plod. Or <laughs> what? I I I don't know that it's a clean answer. Okay. I, I'm I was kind of hoping it wasn't a clean answer to you tell know, you the truth. Well, I I think I'm not so, looking for closure. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I I think I think it is difficult sometimes. Okay. You know, I think it is confusing sometimes. I think it is frustrating sometimes. Um, you know, and yet I, I remember being chastised a little bit by my really good friend, my Romanian friend, Florine. And uh, he, he told me, he said, every time he asked you, he would ask me like, oh, how's the ministry? I said, oh, we're making progress. He's like, you, you Americans and your progress. Okay. You know, he's like, always oh, progress. Oh, this and that. And never, you know, and he's really coming from a different mindset than me and, and helping me understand like, like I'm just I'm like keeping score all the time. Like where am I going? Am I making the next step? Am I getting the next yeah. step? And, and I'm judging. Everywhere. Yeah, I'm judging against like the future version of me. Hmm. You know, and that's an unfair thing to me. First of all, you know, and second of all, I think like I want to be a person who lives with passion and urgency, but not with ambition, not with like blinding like crazy. We're just gonna you know just take every hill and just keep going and charging and finding the next thing because at some point. We have to just accept the, the life that God has given us and, and enjoy it. Hmm, yeah. You know, and take it in as a gift and receive it as a gift. The good days and the bad days, you know, as, as part of that. And so part of my encouragement maybe is is that we don't always see the whole picture, you know. And the other flip side of that is like, what's your better option? Hmm. You got a better option? You know, like yeah. you got a way to like solve all the dissonance yeah. in your life and yeah. find better purpose? You know, honestly, like I, I mean, part of my apologetic strategy is like how's that working out for you <laughs> you know so you're pan tripper kind of all pan out in the end no <laughs> well, we won't go that far so well i mean so you've got jesus saying to the disciples you know unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood you'll have no part in me yeah and the scripture says this is a hard saying and many departed so he turns to the disciples and says what about you guys hmm. you guys gonna bug out also yeah and peter's famous words right where else would we go yeah you alone have the words of life, man. I was just out in the boat, you know. Yeah. You interrupted my life. I'm here. What what option do I have? I can't even find my way back <laughs> if I try. And I think there's that kind of a tone mm, that mm. seems like super uncomfortable for us because it feels like you're you're like throwing everything in the air, but like in the end, you know, what what else can you cling to? Yes. You know, and so for me when when I deal with this and I get you know, I mean I get into these kind of discussions a bit with people. And, and the answer is like, what, like what, what better option do you have? Yeah. You got some other option that makes it seem all better, you know, that well, takes away the pain and frustration that you're having with your life, you know? Like many of my people who are so convinced 
that that they don't want to be where I'm at on this situation are over medicated, very frustrated, not sleeping, and their relationships are busted up. And I always ask them like, "How's it working out for you? You seem pretty convinced about where you are, but like, seems rough, you know?" Yeah, the the paths I'm reading right now. I'm reading um, Pilgrim's Progress, Ugh. children's version, to my daughter. She's six and a half years old, and. Um, what you're describing is really coming into play. I mean, you see Christian walk it. Why does he always have to go on the straight and narrow because it's so rough and rugged and precipitous up this mountain when just the other guys, you know, obstinate and the other yeah. go around the hill and but they're never found again. And he yeah. always seems to... The, there's always an angel on his shoulders. There's always um, the king at the celestial city beckoning him on and sending yeah. help in some way. And I like what you just alluded to. Although you don't have closure, although you don't know, although you don't have a better option, you're made to take this and enjoy it. I think that's the Ecclesiastes yeah. answer anyway. Reminds me also of the Scottish Catechism. What is man's chief end? Mm -hmm. The chief end of man is to glorify God and to enjoy him forever. forever. I think I'm pretty good at the first half of that. Yeah. Having the glory of God in the forefront of my mind and the things that I do, leading a ministry, reaching out to unreached people groups in China and should be about God's glory and my obedience. And But sometimes I forget to just uh, enjoy yeah. Him forever. And maybe the theme song running around in my mind is I can't get no satisfaction. <laughs> God forbid that. Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join His mission. This podcast is powered by Within Reach Global. Subscribe, watch, and listen on YouTube today. Visit missionspulse.com. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed that video, leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought. Also, you might want to check out this video here. And honestly, that one's not bad either. Make sure you subscribe to Missions Pulse by clicking the subscribe button right here. And also click that little bell button so you get notified every single time we post a new video.